together um, maybe even some 20 years ago collaborating uh, individually with each other so we know ourselves mm -hmm. uh, for a long time and uh, we uh, started to collaborate intensively together in 2006 when we uh, decided to change uh, our names into uh, Yanis Yansha. Yeah, I think we had uh, we had some kind of uh, initiatory uh, initiation uh, 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 situations that uh, very much correspond with initiation in everyday life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, like when you want to uh, substantially change the relation between uh, uh, two people who are in love, you can legalize it. So that is the marriage. When you want to become a true Slovenian, like the genuine, the, like, you know, then you climb Triglav. And we climbed uh, the highest mountain in Slovenia, Triglav, and somehow we inaugurated ourselves even into even better uh, uh, Slovenians. Uh, last but not least, uh, we uh, uh, responded to a call by the president of uh, the SDS party in the letter that uh, we received when we applied for membership in the Slovenian Democratic Party that said the more of us there are the faster we will achieve our goal signed by Janez Janša and this was a kind of call and a response to that was again kind of initiatory uh, uh, moment and uh, uh, we did several or many other things uh, that they followed and in that sense there is after initiation you do other things you don't need to initiate again uh, again and again uh, uh, yourself but that would be um, I would say substantial uh, answer uh, uh, to your question the moment in which you basically uh, embrace uh, the situation in which you share the uh, same name with uh, other two people. In that period of time, in this first year, it was uh, we faced this uh, 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 legendary political question, question related to uh, uh, collective or uh, community you belong, uh, which is not what can, uh, you know, state do for you. Uh, so what can Janis Jansha do for you, but what can you do for Janis Jansha? And this relation between individual and collective was very important because uh, the name change uh, 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 was frequenting in public much more because of our individual work and individual positions. If uh, the name change would be appearing only when we would uh, do uh, common activities, it would be much less. So this individual position, the fact that Janis had an exhibition here, the fact that Janis <coughs> had an exhibition uh, there, the fact that Janis was presenting something in another place was actually uh, making um, the name Janis Jansha frequenting uh, much more. And in that sense, we were trying desperately to show that we can do, that Janis Janis and Janis can do something for Janis Jansha, not asking what Janis Jansha can actually do for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There is, yeah. 
I mean, the more of us there are, the faster we'll reach our goal. Uh -huh. That's one. Maybe I can continue with, uh, you mentioned, of course, uh, also you mentioned um, our trip to Trilo. Um, as you might know, I mean, this is our uh, in, uh, initiative tri uh, trip to Trilo, actually later on, a bit, some months later, ended in a group exhibition in Mala Galleria, which was at that time part of Museum of Modern Art, where uh, besides us, uh, we've transformed um, this our trip to a um, kind of triptych, of course, which is now on view to Museum of Contemporary Art. Um, and of course, it's a reaction or a kind of, tri uh, yeah, let's put it, reaction to, um, to a work of group uh, Irvin and also even more to a group Oho within, and their kind of legendary work from 68 Trilo. All these three works are actually exhibited in this group show. I'm mean, interesting for the occasion that, prob as you said before, right, you already made collaboration or uh, like recording of those two really important Slovenian collectives in a proper sense of the name. And um, actually in this case I am mentioning this just because actually our first kind of official coming out as the three artists working together was this, this exhibition uh, at Mala Galleria. This was actually our first work of art which we publicly presented from this proper perspective. Of course before that there's also marriage and some other elements as Janis also mentioned, uh, but in a way maybe this was a kind of uh, yeah, rather important step in, uh, uh, in this line of common working together. Yes. <laughs> Everything you see outside is the result of um, most of the time for these big things like the movie the exhibitions or some other main project of um, a big effort uh, from our side and the side of our producer. There's four of us always involved in a way or in another in this kind of more or less involved, right? And each one of us has totally different approaches to things, totally different free times or time to dedicate to something, and uh, different skills in languages, in, you know, whatever, what someone can do. Um, and it's like really giving birth, you know, this uh, uh, to, to, to a, I don't know, um, human being or something, like for nine months, sometimes you are shorter, but sometimes it really takes so much time to discuss mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. and it's, um, yeah, when you think that things are done, maybe at the last moment they get totally deconstructed. Yeah? Also, the name change itself, it wasn't like, um, you know, a decision taken, uh, you know, just like this in a split of a second. So th there's a lot of factors uh, behind it, but you know, generally speaking, like we know what we can expect one from another, and what are our capability. You notice I wasn't talking that much because I don't like to do that. He likes to talk a lot, uh, and so he goes on scene, and he's the forehead, the head, the spokesman, in a way, whether we agree on what he says or not. Uh, then maybe I do another thing on another way. I'm more skilled, you know. I'm, uh, I'm, you know, coming from new media art scene, so I do always mediated things. He comes from theater. He goes on stage, right? So um, there's two different approaches here, you know. Of uh, I like to manipulate things and to manipulate the language of medias and stuff, images and whatever. Um, he then has another dimension, like probably is the one that in the field of visual art is most, I would say, educated. Like he has a sincere love for art, which I don't. <laughs> um, Finally, I don't. Yeah, um, uh, at least lately. Uh, then, of course, like, you know, that's, that's the way, you know, that's, the, I guess, the advantage. Mm -hmm. of the group, of having, you know, these different approaches and so on. At the same time, you know, we might be pretty much slower than other 
people right because of this ask us to get together one day for a meeting it will probably happen in about Next a couple year. of months yeah one is there one is traveling one is here today i cannot it was scheduled but at the last moment it, you know just like um yeah you know and then it's also the th the the um, question of priorities uh, what kind of priority you set in your own life and this set of priority can change over time for the group together but also for each individual in the group so probably 10-12 uh, years ago it wouldn't be a big problem to find the time to meet mm -hmm. now you know 12 years after thing has changed family grows uh, you know we, uh, get older. You, huh? we get older yeah less patience uh, you know like, yeah, so I would say if I can start, maybe just because what we went, what with every everything that we went through. I mean, as as you, it's obvious to you now that I mean, name change is of course very much personal thing. It relates you, it relates your families, relative parents, your friends, of course, very much and. Through this, I mean, we were collab before all. Of, I mean, the two of us, also the two of us, also the two of them. We collaborated for for many many years, so we are not stranger strangers to one another. But I mean, this big amount of of uh, I would say emotionally extremely powerful things which we met during this last a bit more than ten years. I mean, thirteen years. I mean, of course, it, 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 it brought us quite close. So even, I mean, and also there is obviously not a strong line between our work and our life, meaning that if nothing else, we now and then we meet, of course, and uh, how can you divide this from uh, even going to a coffee uh, to something maybe more, more conventionally uh, understandable as art, for example, right? It's a procedure, like you talk about the things. It's a, yeah, it's a, we had a lot of disagreements, but uh, thanks God, uh, we had a lot of uh, uh, disagreements, or thanks to each other, that we had a lot of disagreements, because uh, you discuss, you project, you think, you analyze, so it's a serious, uh, serious work on decision making, what do you want to communicate and how. Uh, so uh, it would be maybe very good to go into some specifics, to then uh, answer more concretely. Uh, uh, but um, I don't know, we had, uh, the, for example, we had the situation, i give you just one example, um, the situation of Museum of Modern Art uh, wanting to include in their uh, collection our identity cards. Yeah? And uh, this intention started in 2010 and still has not been resolved. Yeah? And there is a long procedure that we presented uh, at the exhibition. Uh, to make it short, basically they wanted to do it in a legal way, knowing that identity cards are also valid documents issued by the Ministry of Interior Affairs. So they asked the Ministry of Interior Affairs, could we acquire these uh, uh, documents, who are artworks, for our uh, collection. The answer was no. Then they asked the Ministry of Culture, look, uh, Ministry of Culture, can you ask your mates in the government uh, that these are artworks, we se send you documentation that uh, uh, proves this, can we actually acquire this in a legal way? Yeah. And the Ministry of Culture did not answer anything. They passed the request again to the Ministry of Interior Affairs, who, and that is the most interesting thing, is answered not only that uh, this is not possible, but they also disqualified uh, the expert opinion that IDs uh, that were exhibited are art objects, saying that these are not uh, the offer, uh, authentic uh, authority offer works, and also not uh, works of art. 
So uh, then we were concluding, aha, okay, if you want to know if something today is art or not, go to police, they will tell you exactly. Yeah? And uh, uh, okay, but to make it a little bit, uh, to make it more into the direction of your uh, question, uh, the Ministry of Interior Affairs uh, suggested uh, the Museum of Modern Art well, wait that uh, mm -hmm. the wait the expiry date of these uh, uh, ideas. Yeah, they will not be valid documents anymore, and take them as art. Yeah. If well, what we decide is that uh, the um, ideas that are not valid are not artworks. Only ideas that are valid are artworks and artistry in those art objects is exactly this tension between two fields yeah the state uh, administration and uh, registry of uh, individuals and uh, uh, supposedly constitutional uh, freedom of uh, artistic expression and this is what we decided so we didn't uh, take opportunistic uh, police side saying, yeah, yeah, okay, take this, yeah. But uh, we created a very clear uh, definition of what is artwork and uh, also authorized uh, an object, concrete object that can actually uh, operate as a work of art. <laughs> We do have, uh, we registered the uh, name Janes Jansha as a trademark and we are owners of that trademark. So, mm -hmm. three individuals that sit across you, uh, we are owners of that uh, registered trademark. And when did you, when did you register? 2017, February, no, then the final decision came in May, I think, I believe something like that. 2017 and it's for the whole Europe region for the field we are active in. Uh, it, it's uh, it's uh, it's an, it, the trademark is something that in a way uh, gives the customer uh, a certain you know certainty th uh, about the, the, the product he will purchase or not eventually. Um, and um, we are the only one entitled to uh, sign uh, artworks or other things coming from the activities that we registered, such as you know, performances, publications in the cultural field, uh, and many other kind of activities, as Janis Jansha in the whole Europe. So there cannot be another Janis Jansha using that name, producing art. So now the question is, what happens if the Prime Minister issues another book? How is that considered? Uh, who knows? What, we, what would we do? Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, I think that uh, this is in line with some strategies we deployed in the last 10 years that has to do with colonization of signifiers. The name is a colonization of signifiers. <coughs> the biography that has been published in 2008 mm -hmm. uh, entitled Yanis Jansha Biography, knowing that the uh, Prime Minister didn't have and still doesn't have a biography, when he would decide to have it, you know, there's a reference already there, and, you know, you can't bypass that. Mm -hmm. uh, and the trademark of the name, it's, it's in that uh, framework, conceptual framework. Uh, we have been working a lot with um, a lawyer, and, and, and also with a um, uh, specialist on intellectual properties, two persons. Um, and uh, basically, maybe you can help me, but um, what we figure out is that, uh, at least in Slovenia, there's a definition of what is an author work. And this definition is super outdated, mm -hmm. you know, especially you know, in the digital era and so on and so forth. No? Uh, so that also some form of art that are fully accepted even fundamental for the 20th century like the ready-made or some performance art all the marina Abramovich performance wouldn't be considered an artwork mm -hmm. you know because you can uh, copyright a script you have to put it on paper not an idea the whole conceptual art is wiped out you know 
Well, when you constitute with your name a trademark, then you have a level of protection or you know consideration of this uh, author's right that you know like uh, takes another uh, level. I mean, uh, there are uh, there are several works that uh, uh, can uh, <clears throat> basically go along with this. Uh, for example, uh, we had a lot of problems uh, uh, of uh, uh, convincing people to use name Yanis Yansha when they, for example, uh, use some kind of. Uh, uh, lexicon or lexicographic uh, entries about uh, about uh, our work, and uh, this was uh, mm, a, lo a, a lot of struggle when we had when we were asked. Uh, yeah. But there is uh, one publication uh, that uh, we just found out that uh, how they solved the question of our name change. Yeah. And uh, basically, uh, they put uh, all our former names in a kind of uh, who is who in the art uh, in Slovenia after Second World War with uh, uh, data uh, for the same artist, for the all artists uh, uh, year of birth. And in case artists were dead, uh, they also put uh, year of their death. Yeah. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, they've solved the problem of uh, name change of uh, three of us by actually making our former names dead. Yeah? So all three of us with former names died in 2007. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, the names refer, so Dari Grassi, uh, from 1970 to 2007, Giga 73 to 2007, uh, Emil Herotin from 64 to 2007. And there is also Yanis Jansha in that uh, glossary, but only one. And Yanis Jansha is the only name that doesn't have neither year of birth, neither year of death. Now, of course, you can say, okay, this is kind of human mistake, or, and so on and so forth, yeah? But uh, that human who was making a mistake had to process somehow s uh, data and the question before arriving to a uh, uh, mistake, yeah? Now, how we responded to this, we didn't uh, write, dear editor, look, uh, <laughs> hello, we are still alive. <laughs> no, we produced for the exhibition uh, the, the work called uh, Lifespan, where we basically uh, engraved in a stone, in our gravestones, uh, data as they've been used in that glossary. So as they mentioned, year of the, uh, birth and year of death, next to our former names and also a stone uh, which still wait Yanis Yansha both to be born and both to die. Yeah. And this, uh, with this uh, I just wanted to somehow respond to uh, uh, your question that there is some kind of dynamics that is going around uh, this that in our opinion opens many questions uh, how we are treated by institutions not only as artists, but uh, as individuals. Uh, I don't know, but I guess that um, the question would be from my side more how the local feedback influence the next step. Mm -hmm. Because like this um, name change, by choosing this particular name, was really like uh, 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 rooted locally not internationally. And this is also something we discussed a lot, we were aware about this. If we were just hunting some visibility, international visibility, and go for the BBC and the Guardian for like a micro kind of article and, uh, you know, um, having this 15 seconds of fame, we would have changed it back then in, I don't know, George W. Bush or whatever, 
Yeah? Yeah. But it doesn't make sense. This is not a name that relates with your you know, everyday life mm-hmm. and this name change here in, this con- in that context back then and uh, in this society and with the, n- with the connotation of that name uh, and what that name means for each one of the people outside the studio in the street because that name is known by everybody and everybody has an opinion on that name. Uh, that was actually the real you know, challenge. We, so we didn't really uh, give a damn so much about the international visibility. That of course happened, but did not happen as a blast. Uh, a blast that would happen if we changed the name in Putin, for example. It happened later on as a second wave, and it's probably uh, what, partially, also what kept this project go on for so long you know people still now are discovering this project you know mm-hmm. it's kind of um, I would say rather well known uh, mm-hmm. throughout the, the, the world in certain circle of people um, yeah but uh, what happened here is a feedback uh, uh, trigger that um, effect of possible self-censorship or stuff like that you know like because um, you can't really re- avoid the fact that you live immersed in the society and in your everyday life you have to deal with this name and the way other people perceive you because of that name um, from I don't know co-workers to people in the kindergarten to whomever people doing service for whatever if you call a company say the internet doesn't work, oh, what's your name? Yanis Yajan, ha ha, boom. They don't solve your problem, yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, two uh, of the facts of that you live in a society that is still like divided into, you know, um, politically pretty much divided. And so you know in advance that, you know, you have, let's say, a good half of the people who really doesn't like you just because of the name. Huh? So, um, Mm-hmm. And uh, I think personally that uh, it takes a lot of an effort to dismiss after 10 or 12 years that we are operating to kind of tend to forget all the, all the stories and things that has been accumulating because now taking a decision, do a next step becomes all the time more kind of difficult. Yeah? Because there's a lot of background, a lot of story behind, a lot of positive and negative, you know, reaction or things that we already did or, you know, the risk is to become kind of repetitive in a way or to go for the most easy, you know, there's a lot of people around us trying to suggest what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And this is exactly what we tend to avoid. You know, mm-hmm. are you are really expecting this? Oh, thank you very much. So we just like, yeah. delete this, you know, like, I don't do that. Anyway, I, I, there's nothing much to add. I would totally agree when you're asking about international audience. I would say I, I have anyway the similar feeling somehow that, I mean, if you, if you take the arena in the center, it's local scene somehow, and the, the international scene might be all around somehow. And I, I believe that what is in the center is it's actually kind of local, but that doesn't really mean that it's provincial, just the opposite. I mean, it's local just because it's so much non-local. I mean, so much universal on the other hand. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing actually, except that uh, it, it's always like that, that name cannot be a neutral thing anyway. I mean, you just look at what you are doing and it's obvious, I would say. It's totally obvious, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, name can never be neutral. 